Hello and welcome. In our first two episodes on transformations, we learned how to translate a shape and what to consider when rotating a shape. Direction, clockwise or counterclockwise, how far it rotates, and the point of rotation. In this video, we'll explore the way shapes can be reflected. As we've learned already, the starting object in any transformation is called the figure. In this case, the letter F. When we place a vertical line in front of it, we call that the mirror line or line of reflection. The image appears on the other side of the mirror line as an exact copy, but backwards. This is the way we see ourselves in a mirror. Our right appears left. So a vertical mirror line will reverse an image. Here's an example of how this will look with a simple polygon. Starting with the original figure, we can add a vertical mirror line and then create our image. Again, an exact copy, but backwards. The distance from the points on the triangle to the mirror must be the same for both the figure and image. Shown here as lines with little tick marks. The same number of marks tells you the lines are of equal length. Of course, if we move the figure away from the mirror line, the image moves away by the exact same amount. We could also have the figure and image cross over. When we place the mirror line in a horizontal direction, we get an image that appears upside down. All the points are still equal distant. This could make for some dramatic images when the reflection happens across the horizon. Here's an interesting comparison between a shape that has been rotated from our last episode and the same shape reflected. Can you see the difference? At first glance, the images look the same, but we can see that with the rotated image, the B ends up opposite the point of rotation, and with reflection, the B is opposite the mirror line. Only the letters can help us distinguish what transformation really happened to the shape. We can reflect any shape and use any angle of mirror line, as you can see in this example. In this third type of transformation, we explored what happens when we reflect figures in different orientations. The images we create are exact copies that are either backwards for a vertical mirror line or upside down if the line is placed horizontally. All points of a shape must be equidistant from the mirror line. Take some time to explore and reflect on ways you witness this type of transformation happening around you. We will of course be tackling dilation in our final episode on transformations.